my name is Jan Lancaster, and I'm superintendent of Catholic schools for the Archdiocese of New Orleans. Welcome to another episode of Our Schools, Our Future. We have an exciting night tonight. We're going to hear from people from our Academy of Our Lady, St. Rita in New Orleans, and also Dr. Judy Moranti, one of our Bessie members. Well, welcome. We have Sister Michelle and we have Craig Kirkland here today from Academy of Our Lady. Welcome. We're so glad you're here tonight. Thank you very much, Dr. Lancaster. And some exciting things are happening at Academy of Our Lady. Very exciting time for us. Uh, in addition to our volleyball team, finishing an undefeated district schedule and oh, hosting wow, a playoff exciting. game in a few days. I think we we'll all have a lot of anticipation about our new school building that's going up. Well, I want to hear all about that, as, as well as some exciting things going on with the academics. But of course, what impressed me the most every time I go to Academy of Our Lady is the way that you all minister to the girls and, and truly um, live your faith through the Ministry of Catholic Education. I mean, that's number one. That's who we are. So uh, if you want to talk a little bit, Sister Michelle, about what's going on? Sure. Um, I think what's exciting is we have a chance to take our academic program and build a facility around it. So for example, we have four academic majors that young people can do, medical, law, STEM, and culinary. And we've actually designed the school around some of those majors. So for example, the medical academic major, the students have a chance to internship at West Jeff. They do 40 hours in a semester at West Jeff. But then they also come back to the classroom and in their second year, they go out to Our Lady of Wisdom and they actually go through a whole pre-nursing program. So the classroom for that was designed around... Well, it, it, it's called a, a, a hospital lab room where there is a setting for the students to have lecture work, but adjacent to it is an actual hospital room with a hospital bed and all of the equipment that goes with that so they can get true hands-on experience in that kind of a setting, similar to our culinary setting, which is not your, your mother's home economics. It's an industrial restaurant type setup that will have a demonstration platform where, where our culinary arts chef will do the demonstrations, have a lecture portion, but also have kitchens with, with four wow. separate uh, lab units for them that are set up just like a restaurant kitchen for our students to use. And then academically speaking, we partnered with the National Restaurant Association and Louisiana Restaurant Association for the Pro Start. In fact, we're the only Catholic school in the whole state of Louisiana who has this partnership. So for our students who are interested in pursuing a career in the culinary arts, they get both the, the classroom experience and then they'll also go out into restaurants. So it's really a partnership with the community, with our school once again. So that was another exciting thing we could do, building a new building. Um, our third program is STEM, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. And for that, we've partnered with University of Texas. But we have also have great science labs that are built around today's science needs in science and engineering. And, and to that end, there will be a physics lab that's more of a lecture space. There will be the chemistry lab that has specially designed uh, laboratory tables that recess to uh, sitting height for note taking, then up for the students to stand up and, and do their experiments that way. And then the biology lab that follows that. It's uh, I don't, I don't want to keep saying state of the art, but it is that as good as it gets. Like well, that is wonderful. And how is the building coming along? Pilings have been driven. Um, the foundation for the gymnasium and cafeteria have been poured. Uh, part of the structure of the cafeteria has gone up and part of the driveway's in, but we still have another 12 months to go before we, we but we're on time and the weather's been good to us. Oh, and and Jan, great. what's been a beautiful opportunity for the students, because this really is their school, is just last week they, we took out a group of students. They All students could put their name in and then they were chosen and seven of them got to go out to the site. We did a prayer to St. John Bosco and placed medals right before the foundation for the classroom buildings are laid. We did the same thing for the gymnasium with the athletes and then we'll take the teachers out when we do the administration building. So it's beautiful to see the, the school going up and then the young people in the community being able to witness and take part in this momentous occasion. Well, all these buildings, how many buildings, I mean, what, what, is, the build, what is the school going to look like when it's all said and done? It'll be an administration building with a traffic circle in the front of the school that includes all the offices for the administration, and then the centerpiece of the school is the chapel, and that would really be where our visitors would enter. Um, connected to that is a library building that also includes a technology suite in which, again, our student interns will work 
they're mostly juniors and seniors that take the program for that, but when a student comes in with a iPad question or a problem, they come to the counter and student interns will take it back to the workroom and under the supervision of our technology uh, of people there, uh, they will get their problems taken care of and, and they'll get them out of that store. Then across the main part of the campus will be a two-story classroom building with about 25 classrooms and that will form what we call the reflective uh, quad or it's, a, it's an area that will be from the back of the chapel that will be a prayerful place. On the other side of the school building where the uh, cafeteria and the gymnasium are, it's more of a student uh, fun spirited quad area that 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 courtyard will be where um, they'll, they'll have a lot of activities at lunchtime and after school so it will be right now um, something that we've waited a long time for and more than that it's so much more room that we'll have on the campus for parking for ball fields for all those things that we we're so looking forward to serving the the students that we serve. Well, something you brought up that I want to touch on is the iPad initiative. We talked about that previously. You've been doing that for several years. How is that coming along and, and what's happening with the iPad initiative? I think it's very exciting because right now most of the textbooks are on the iPad, but they're really using to learning to use the iPad as a tool. What's interesting, I was just in the science classrooms this week, is there's a lot of devices and monitors and everything that hook right up to the iPad and will record the data for the students. So it's really an integrated system. And then the students, really the smart boards, I almost hate to say it, are going out because the students with their iPad can project it right onto a flat screen TV and the teacher can choose what iPad to display up there so the students can work out a problem and then display it for their class kind of like what we used to do with the chalkboard and whiteboard it's now been all replaced by the iPad and then we have the creation station with the Macs where they can create something and then put it in their iPad or drop it to the whole school create videos it's we amazing. do our whole TV production now almost exclusively through the iPad that is wonderful and you know I want to say and it's almost time um, for us to, to go but I want to say when I came to Academy of, the, of Our Lady last year I saw Catholic Relief Services there talking to the students and letting them know the importance of making the world a better place through what they do and how they can do that. And once again, I just commend you because the number one thing we do is, is show children how to make the world a better place and live their faith as lifelong Catholics. And, and you all are doing that so well. And then with the strong academics and the new building, um, it's just an exciting time to be at Academy sure of Our Lady. So uh, thank you all so much for being here. Tonight. Thank you very much, and thank you for your continued prayers. Well, I'll keep coming out to look at that building. Great. That's an exciting time.